What is going on, guys? It's Mr. Banks here coming at you live with another trade recap. Now, before I get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these beautiful educational videos that we provide daily for you to make you the discipline and successful trader that I know all of you are. Now, before I get started, let's go ahead. We'll be taking a look at my trade plans that I give out every day. Uh, in the Wolves Wealth Group, these are the wins. As you can see, the BBR strategy paid today for the members. Um, again, I do trade in the Wolves of Wealth Discord. This is my community. We have everything from beginner lessons to call outs to chat rooms so that we answer all of your questions personally, one-on-ones to education center, to real estate and business, much, much more so that you can grow your money beyond the stock market. We are the rules of wealth guys, and this is the community for you. So go ahead and click that link below in the description and I'll see you in here. If not, I do give these trade plans to all of my super followers on Twitter. So go ahead and click my profile, click the super follower button. I know this will pay out for you with just one trade and get you to be a profitable trader. So now let's get started on the BBR strategy. I will be going over the SPY levels today. I had 365, 362 as my major levels, but again, there is this 365, 362 range that I was looking at. What I really liked today was that 370, 371 reject for puts. As I said here, I like the reject better for today. And we, as we all know, that played out absolutely beautifully for us. So let's get started. How did I find the 370 level? Well, guys, we're talking about the BBR strategy the bounce break reject strategy. And why is it called that? Because stocks only do three things. They bounce, break, and reject. They will bounce on support. They will reject resistance and they will break through resistance or break down through support. So now if we're taking a look through the daily um, over the weekend, I do like to look at the higher time frames to find my levels. During the week, especially, it is easier to find levels in the pre-market, which is what I use mostly. But I saw that we had this gap and I saw this major, major area of resistance at 370. So this is exactly where I was looking at. So you can see it was also a major area of support going back. Because what does the BBR strategy look at? So we're looking at pre-market highs, pre-market lows, we're looking at previous days, highs and lows and close, as well as major levels of support and resistance. So I'll go over that one more time. Again, I do have a thread on Twitter. So if you follow my Twitter, I have a whole thread ex explaining this as well as all of my videos on YouTube. But again, I have pre-market highs, pre-market lows, previous days, highs and, and lows, as well as the close and then the major areas of support and resistance on the higher time frames. So if you guys take a look right here, what is a major area of resistance? Well, we saw right here that 370 was that major area. So as we were looking up to the upward levels, 370 to 371 was that level that I was looking for a reject. Because as we know, guys, when we have major supports like this, like 370 support, once that gets broken, supports turn into resistance, right? So once a major area of support turns into or gets broken, it turns into resistance. And what happens when that happens is that we're going to go back and retest that area, right? So it goes the same with areas. If we break resistance up, we're going to come back down and eventually test that area for support. So it goes vice versa. In this case, we had a break of a major area of support. So we're going to go ahead and retest that. And then how I found 362 was the low of the year. We had 362 right here, 362.35. Um, but again, we like the psych levels, whole numbers. So I needed to see a clear break of 362 to take those puts, or again, a double bottom in this area. Uh, for calls. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller time frames. Um, let me go ahead and add this to make it easier for you guys. 
So as we can see, as we can see, we found for over the weekend for this Monday trade, we found the levels on the higher time frames, right? We were playing the major areas of support and resistances. But again, let's take a look at the BBR strategy and what else could have been played. Well, if we want to take a look at, um, I guess you could say this is going into after hours close. But again, I do count all of this after hours pre-market uh, the same uh, for levels. I just call it pre-market. We want to take a look here. Let's just say pre-market higher, after hours close high. What happened in this area today? This was another area you could have taken. Um, so around 368.50, you can see, right? We found some resistance here. We kind of try to find some re re uh, uh, support, but we also failed that support. Do you guys see that? This pre-market or after hours high, or you can also even say close. Take a look there. Major resistance and support, you know, buyers and sellers were looking in this area. So this is a major level. Uh, always be mapping this out. This is part of the BBR strategy. And you can see that these pay very, very well, right? They pay very, very well. So again, 365, where was I looking? This is essentially the pre-market low. If you want to take a look right here, let's go ahead, 365. So we have 365. Look at that. Perfect area of support off of pre-market, right? Perfect area of support going into the close and pre-market. So pre-market high, essentially, pre-market low. Look at these levels played out perfectly. So always be mapping out these levels. So you can see here's 371, um, which was another previous area of resistance. So that's where I got a 370 to 371 area. And then if you guys take a look, what happened at another, you know, 365 is also another major area that bounced off of on Friday. So, right. So previous support areas previous support areas. And you can even take a look here, how this previous uh, resistance area played on Friday also played out today. Do you see that? So guys, all of these levels, you could essentially map out and play, right? You can essentially map out all of these levels and play, right? They're all in play. Today, I just took these major levels from the major timelines, right? From the daily but again, if you follow the BBR strategy and these pre-market highs, pre-market lows, the close of the previous day, um, the high and the low of the previous day, as well as these major areas of support and resistances, you can see how well they play out coming into the next day and throughout the week. And then even if we want to take at that, the previous day low, look what happened here. Look what happened here today, right? We had a bounce off of it. We had a bounce off of it. So do you guys see how, how well this strategy plays out and pays out, right? So guys, I'm not bluffing here. Uh, we have the results. I've developed this strategy over years of trading, and this is what I found. You know, you technically don't need any indicators to play this strategy. You can see that these the algos will play off of these levels. I tell you guys, I show you guys every single day how well this works. So again, uh, so another level we could have played was the previous day level of support, you know, 365 was one and then down here, 363 was one. So this is why I had from 362 to 365 as a, um, as a zone, as a range, but do you see how well these levels play out? Boom, bounce off of it again. And then we can see major area of resistance about, you know, also another major area of resistance is today. Major area of support, another major area of support today. You know, after hours close, another major area of resistance. And then looking back at the daily, we have another major area of resistance that was in play, as well as, you know, looking back to the pre-market, 371, which is a major area of resistance was in play today, uh, was in that play today, did not hit, but that was why it was another level for me to take puts if we did get past 370. 
So I hope you guys are understanding this. I know I went through this really quickly today. Um, but again, I do have a whole thread on this. I have a bunch of videos on this and I hope you can see how these levels play out, right? You can see why the BBR strategy makes sense. Stocks will bounce and reject, bounce and reject, and then break through the resistance or break down through support, right? Stocks will only do these three things. They will only do these three things. They will bounce on support. They will reject resistance or they will break through resistance or they will break through support, right? And if we break through support, what happens? It gets retested. It gets retested. And if we break through resistance, what happens? It gets retested. So do you guys see here? Break, retest, break, retest. Bounce on support, reject resistance, and then break through, and then we'll retest. This happens over and over and over again every single day. So if you start to look at stocks like this and start simplifying it, I promise you, it will become much more simpler. It will become easier for you to trade. You'll have a lot less emotions involved and you will become more profitable. You do not need all these indicators or all, uh, all these things that are on the screen. All you need are these levels because stocks play level to level. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope I'll see you in the Wolves of Wealth Discord. If not, I'll definitely see you as a super follower. And on to next time. Hope you guys have a great night. See you tomorrow.